one stamp set, one ink color, and one cardstock color. And we can make a beautiful card. I'm Sylvie from sylviestamps.com. Let's get to my table and I will show you. Do you like sweet and simple cards? And this one is even monochromatic, so it's even easier. You need fewer supplies really to make it. So we are going to be using self succulent ink and the Eden's Garden uh, stamp set, which has beautiful images and beautiful greetings with a mixture of uh, scripty font and um, typed type of fonts. Really beautiful uh, stamp set. And then some paper here. So if you like this type of card, make sure to like the, the video and subscribe and set the reminder bell here. So I have a piece of basic white cardstock and my self succulent ink pad. We are going to start with our main image, this uh, beautiful, um, I don't know, flowers and berries and whatnot. You will notice that um, there's several um, degrees of, I don't know, fullness in, in part of the image here. It's a kind of a 3D image and we call that a distinct distinctive uh, stamp set and you have to be a little careful when you ink it you don't want too much ink on it so my self succulent is just perfect right now I'm not getting beads on it or anything like that everything is inked uh, nicely and so I really like that we don't need to do anything else if you have too much ink then use a spoon or something like that just to push the ink back into the um, into the ink pad. I will uh, show you the, I have a video showing you how to do that. And I will, if it should appear here on the screen somewhere. Okay, then I'm adding a couple of other uh, foliage here. I'm gonna do this one here, like that. And then this little one, this little one has little berries or dots or whatever, really pretty here. I'm going to put some here, some here, I think I want some over here, just to make it a little fuller here. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. And I have chosen the Sending Hugs uh, sentiment, but you can choose any of the other ones. Dear friend, how are you? Hello there is totally, is a really cool kind of a multi-purpose uh, sentiment as well. So I'm going to stamp that right here. Okay, and we are done with the stamping. So I am going to just put some adhesive on the back of this panel here and mat it with some soft, soft succulent, which really makes the ink pop. And I like to put some pressure on the back so that there is a good bond. Our card base here is just a basic white card base. And I like to use my bone folder to have a nice crisp fold here. And then I'm going to use um, dimensionals here. Now, if you like the type of cards that I design and you would, you'd like to um, have some PDF of tutorials, that I, I send some every Tuesday. Every Tuesday you get a tutorial in a PDF format that you can save and make later. So subscribe to, um, to my newsletter. I will put the link in the description below. Okay, now let's add uh, some bling here. I am using the pastel, ba pastel backed sequins it's called. And they have this beautiful gold sequin here that I think really adds to the card. I'll put one here and one here. And just hold on a second. I have some more cards uh, with made with um, Eden's Garden that I will, I will show you. I have two cards here to show you. And uh, they use the... Um, let's put this out of the way here. They use the Eden dies, which has beautiful uh, dies that you can, uh, you, yeah, die cuts <laughs> that you can use. So here I, I die cut this on, around the, uh, the greeting that looks beautiful. And there's our main floral again. And then this border dies, which is gorgeous. I've used the border die again here 
and used it this way and then I die cut just some elements there so um, you can keep it simple you can really step it up that's up to you what with whatever you prefer to do with this uh, stamp set and dies have fun stamping <laughs>